kid. There's a big robot, a strong man. The hero wants to destroy the robot. It's too big and too mean to mess with, so the hero climbs inside of the robot. That robot it can't get to what's inside of him, tearing him up. He listen to me now. The hero needs to sign his character stuff up and the robot can't get inside to get out of him while carrying the pieces so he starts hitting himself from the outside. He begins to destroy himself in his own hand. He begins to destroy him trying to get to what's inside of him and he can't fix. But it's everything that's inside that he can't get to so he can self destruct. That's what they can do. This man he cut himself, he's weeping, he's broken, he's captive. Hell is a prisoner of the sea. But I hear him crying, but I hear him weeping through the scripture. I don't hear a man who's very close to me. He's not having a good time. He's not doing what he wants to do, but he can't be free. Now, sin is a choice, but at the same time, amen. And at the same time, uh, we, the fourth cross draws us before he deals with us, we're captives. He, in a sense, you hear him weeping and crying in the tomb, and he's saying, if I could be different, if I could change who I am, if I could change my actions, I would. If I could go back to my family, I would. If I could stop this cycle of failure, I would. If I could be different, I would, but I can't. I am broken and distracted. People say, oh, you need to stop thinking. Stop being a snob. No, 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 no. The Bible says, none after God. That we're all born Catholic. Born in the Born under the command of the control of the time of anything. But what did Jesus say? That's not the 61 that I read. This man doesn't want to be one little, but there's no hope. He's been off the food. People try to fix him, but they can't. Nothing can work, man. And then all of a sudden, something changes. The Bible says Jesus came over the sea, and when his ship stopped on the shore, the ship was down there. It says, when he saw Jesus, Hear me, please hear me. He said, when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped the enemies. He ran and fell on his face. Now, this man is full of devils. He's full of demons. And the demons, not the, they're not the ones that are going to run the fight. They don't want to be saying to do with Jesus. But when Jesus stepped onto the scene, the devil had no choice. The man was finally free and made a choice of other people. Amen. It's kind of like this other Jesus as an example. If these two chairs are people and I'm the devil, the devil's got people. He's got them. If that, if that chair can run the cross, Jesus takes one step toward that person who's in sin. The devil has to let go, and now they can make a choice. Now they can choose. Do they go back to the sin or they go to Jesus? When God calls you, when you hear the gospel like you hear it, or when you hear it every month here, David, when you hear the gospel, God deals with your heart that Jesus takes a step towards you. He's saying, I will free the choice. This could not be other than he was. Could be free. But as soon as Jesus took his step to the table, he had a choice. Does he go back to the table? 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 And the man who was wanting to be free himself and fix himself, there's one thing he could do. He didn't wait to do that. But now that I got saved, you're free to make a choice. Free me to make a choice. Then back you come to me and you go back to the tomb and live in your sin and reject me for eternity by the Lord. I stood between two options. And when I ran and fell in my mouth, this is going to cry. You know what happened? I didn't get rid of my vision. I didn't get rid of my sin. Jesus did. And when this man was the cross, the Bible says this, hey man, praise God. He ran and warned to Jesus and cried aloud. The demons cry out, say, What do we have to do to you, Jesus? 
In verse 8, Jesus said, Come out of him, you unclean spirit. Amen. And Jesus sent the devils out of the man, and the man free. Now, hear me now. This, this is the big point. The man can get rid of the devil. Jesus did. The man did the one thing he could do, and that's the one who Jesus. Next thing you know, the Bible says this. The people of the town came and they saw the guy that had been possessed with the devil, and he was clothed in his right mind. Bring them out. The man who had been demon possessed, the man who cut himself, the man that was weak, the man that could not be free. Listen now. Here's the wrong title. Lord, after the curing of his sin, I couldn't do anything else. I couldn't shoot him to the Thank you. 